Hi folks, so just a quick video this morning. I've just been conversing with a YouTuber by the name of Green Jeans and they've been having some trouble finding out how to lock the shaft on their spindle moulder in a, in a combination machine. Now I'm not familiar with their machine but I said I'd do a, a quick little video just to show them on the spindle moulders that I have here how we lock the shaft in order to change the cutters. So I'll switch over to my phone and I'll show you how that's done. Right, so this is my EQ Wadkin, but like I have three Wadkins, but they all operate on the same principle. So you can see this handle here, that goes in and locks the, I need a third hand here, um, see if I can push on it. So, here we go. So that is now locked the shaft in place so that I can change the cutters on that one. That's pretty straightforward on this one. So I'll take you over to one of my other machines. It's a little bit older and I'll show you how it's done. So this is an older, more basic machine, but you can see the pin there. I've already put it in place just so you can see how that one works. But that's how we lock the shaft on that one. So I don't know if this will see it, but uh, no, it's too dark. But there's actually a there's a hole there in the shaft that that pin goes into, and it just locks in that elongated place there. Um, as I said, I, I'm not familiar with your machine, Green Jeans. So if you look around, th there'll be obviously there's a way there to do it. But if you look around the machine and you find anything like that that resembles a pin or anything or it could even be inside the cabinet maybe I, I doubt it but that's perhaps how it's done but anyway so that's how ours are done hope that helps you a bit so yeah